This trainer demo is being brought to you by learningcomputer.com. Uh, this is part two of the installation of Microsoft Office 2013. Uh, if you have uh, not seen our first video, basically we ran into some issues uh, installing uh, Microsoft Office. This uh, machine, this particular machine, uh, as you can see, it's a, it's a Dell. But if you notice down here where it says uh, system type, uh, it clearly says 64-bit operating system. We had downloaded a 64-bit um, Office 2013 software edition basically and it did not work. So we basically went back to the drawing board. We downloaded uh, the file. Uh, this is the second file uh, that is highlighted here, the x86. Uh, so we did that earlier today. Uh, I'm finally getting around to this. Now all I needed to do at this point uh, after the download is I double clicked on it and uh, you know I burnt a DVD which I already have it up and running. I'm not going to burn this again but I did that so I just wanted to highlight that. Now as far as the um, steps let's just kind of recap them i do apologize for splitting this into two parts i would have liked to uh, you know keep everything together but uh, that is uh, it is uh, what it is sometimes but uh, anyway so uh, you need to register for the eval first and i'm going to sh show you uh, the website in a minute then you need to download an image file the one i just mentioned and we are now using the 32-bit version you can then burn the image file or also the iso to a DVD and then from there you can install full featured software for a 60 day evaluation you're going to get some emails regarding inf additional information and then uh, you know that's pretty much it we are going to show you this website here's the website where you can get the download information it's on technet.microsoft.com and then finally we are also going to have a blog post on learningcomputer.com slash blog uh, on the installation but uh, let me show you a couple of things the first thing um, I want to show you is that uh, here is the website the TechNet uh, eval uh, site that I'm mentioning the steps listed here are the same uh, I will uh, kinda go through these steps without uh, really um, you know going all the way because I already showed you this in part one but in case you did not see that or it's been a while you basically need to you know log in this is uh, essentially you're logging into live.com which is uh, part of the you know hotmail uh, account i guess um, i am going to or i should say part of microsoft's uh, different sites i guess once you go in there uh, you're basically you know it's going to ask you for some verification the important point in here is that uh, initially like i mentioned we had bit, picked 64 bit and this time we have picked 32 bit okay um, and then you basically you know hit continue uh, you verify some other things and then also you you continue to get to the next screen that's where you actually you know will uh, will get the download file okay so so keep that in mind I'm going to basically cancel out of this uh, because I already have the file and everything uh, ready to go okay um, now I do want to show you one uh, more thing before I do go with the installation if I go to my all programs and go to Microsoft Office you will notice that I already have 2010 up and running in fact that is what I'm using this I did not activate this product so I'm getting this nice little red uh, box in the middle on the top but uh, that's fine not a big deal but uh, I do have 2010 installed and uh, the reason I'm mentioning that is that we are going to do a side-by-side -side install okay what that means is that we will have uh, 2010 up and running and we will do a new installation of 2013 so if you uh, let's go ahead and browse to our uh, DVD that we have up in here these the files are already in there um, I'm going to basically look for the setup.exe file okay click on that and this should uh, go ahead and uh, start the process now it's asking uh, just like Windows that do you want to make changes to the computer this is uh, by Microsoft Corporation so I will go ahead and say yes <laughs> so now we are getting the uh, the Microsoft Office Professional Plus 2013 um, dialog screen I guess now you have a couple of choices here do you want to do an upgrade upgrade basically would mean that you are 
you know, moving from, let's say, 2010 to 2013. We don't want to do that. We would like to do a side-by-side -side installation. So I'm going to select Customize. And now it's asking me, well, what would you like to do? You can either remove all of your pre previous versions, you can keep all of your previous versions, or you can only remove certain certain ones. Okay, so I would like to actually keep everything as is. And so I'm going to select keep all previous versions. Remember, uh, if you're doing a upgrade, which means remove the current one, install the new one, you would pick that option. But let me go with this one. And I would say install now. Now, <clears throat> I'm pretty sure this is going to take uh, just a few minutes. It is, uh, looks like it's 9.23 on my machine here, February 5th, 2013. So I'm going to, let's say, let it, this thing run for a minute. I just want to make sure it doesn't blow up. Uh, and then I will essentially pause the video and then come back and wrap things up. So, uh, so bear with us. I just want to make sure that this is uh, this kind of gets going, which it should. Okay, I hear I hear the DVD spinning. That's always a good sign. So let me go ahead and pause the video. Um, I I should be back. Um, I don't know. I think it it should not take me more than uh, 15, 20 minutes. So please stand by while we do this. I am back now and uh, looks like uh, the installation is done. Uh, we're getting a message, thank you for installing Microsoft Office Professional Plus 2013 to begin start doing that. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, actually let me do a print screen of this just so I have it in here. I'm going to uh, go to all programs. You can see that we have Microsoft Office 13. I'm going to go ahead and uh, do Word, try Word 2013. At this point we are done. I just want to make sure that I am uh, I'm saving this before I go ahead and close this. And uh, I was playing around with this earlier but let's just go ahead and uh, let's see it's Oh, so you need to activate it before you can start using it. Um, so let me do this. <clears throat> yeah, before the activation, it's not going to let you use it. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in. This is the same as your live ID account. Okay, uh, asking for a password, which I can insert that as well okay and now what's doing is let's see uh, okay I think this is this is something I've run into before that since the office 2010 was installed under a diff different account it is uh, basically giving you grief but uh, in, in your uh, in your case you can uh, you know use the same account actually it does it does say if you do have a product key go back and select that also so let's let's try that instead okay um, yeah let's the option here where it says in, in, enter a product key let's do that and I believe I do have the product key at some point some place here I did save it uh, earlier today there it is I knew there was a reason why I saved that now I know why so I'm going to copy this. I'm not sure if it's going to let me cut and paste, but if it doesn't do that, I will again uh, pause the video and do that. I do apologize. Uh, okay, it does looks like it took that. I just pasted it and go ahead and do install. And let me see what it does. At this point, really what it's doing is, uh, let's see, something went terribly wrong, and we can't do this for you right now. Okay, let's... Uh, that's fine. Uh, now it's saying uh, I want to recommend over the internet. Uh, sure. So okay. Um, at this point, I guess I'm a little bit. Uh, let's see. You may. You can run the software for ten days more. Basically, one of the problems I think I may have run into is I did install this earlier, 
so I installed it uninstalled it now I'm trying to install it again and that's possible that may be causing the issue but uh, for the most part we are done at this point we uh, ran through this setup and uh, you know followed along and at that at this point as you can see let me go back to um, all programs you can see everything is indeed installed It's just a matter of activating it so uh, that pretty much wraps up the video uh, thank you for watching definitely do check out our website uh, learningcomputer.com we, we have a lot of new uh, items we're adding we also added some items in blog so do check that out thank you for watching the video